There's not too many people who know what it feels like to perform on this stage on Saturdays in front of 62,000 people. And think about all the countless hours of preparation that go into just getting ready for kickoff. And we often forget that these athletes are also students. So on top of school and football, doesn't leave much room for downtime. Well, wide receiver Lavasi Tuine, what he likes to do to get away from this stage is sit in front of the piano. Each key of a piano creates its own distinct sound. When you strike a combination of keys at the right time, you create a melody, something organ wide receiver Lavassier Tuine has grown to love. Music kind of runs in my family. You know, my dad's a, a, a producer. He loves making beats. So I just got into some kind of instrument. First, I started with the flute and uh, the recorder back in middle school, and then I just thought the piano was interesting. Tuna is used to being in the spotlight on the football field, so we asked him to be on a different stage and play for us. He chose to share a piece that he's been working on for a couple of days, 100 Years by Five for Fighting. At first, he was a little nervous, but watching him play, it quickly became evident how these keys can create a place to escape the game for a little while. It releases me from everything, so like it's like my getaway. You know, because it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of work with football in school, so when I need to get away, I'll go play the piano somewhere. Not really many people know that I play the piano, so I mean, it's, not a, it's like a big secret, so. LC plays the piano? Oh, I didn't know that. What we do know about the six foot five junior from Arcadia, Indiana, is that he has emerged as yet another offensive weapon, setting a career mark with seven catches for 78 yards against the Trojans. Wait for the snap, got it. Back to throw the ball. Down the middle, wide open. He's got it to Lavassier, two and a, and he's got a touchdown. And for our offense, it's, it's tough to, go, to guard us, you know. We got speed everywhere. I mean, you got Jeff on the outside, and you got LaMichael. And LaMichael brings a lot of opportunities for us wide receivers. And uh, Jeff, on top of that, brings more opportunities to me and Drew. So um, just having those guys is a great great for the team. And it's what he's asked to do away from the ball that may not make it onto the highlight reel. He's been doing an absolutely amazing job blocking. He's really aggressive on the perimeter. Uh, he's he's blocking for Drew and Jeff a lot, and he's blocking downfield for some of our running backs. And, and he's got exceptional hands. He dropped a couple this week. I gave him some, uh, some, uh, some crap for it, but uh, he's got reliable hands, and he's been really physical. Tuane, the son of former NFL player Van Tuane, would like to follow in his father's footsteps, continue to pursue music and football after Oregon. When I play and I mess up, I want to continue and like work and like practice. Like if you mess up, you want to continue on working at it and getting better. And just like, pian like playing a, a song, you know, um, I have to like, I have to keep on repeating the music, keep like doing it over and over again. Um, it's just a lot of repetition for me because I just want to be perfect. And says his choice in song sheets changes like the Oregon uniforms, mostly prefers classical and listens to what he calls hype music before game time. But one thing that is constant is the way striking the keys makes him feel. I just love playing. I just love the flow of my fingers and everything and just the sound. 